Hey friends, today we're gonna to be calibrating this, pH calibrating, and I'm also gonna show you a few things that you should know about this water quality tester and water quality meter. You're gonna remove that cap. And then the very first thing that we need to do is actually this pH buffer powder. We need 250 milliliters of water, and then we're gonna pour that into here. So as you can see, the instructions are very clear on how to actually calibrate this. Super simple, basic, step-by-step -step instructions. So let's go ahead and put in our 4.0 pH solution into our 250 milliliter water. And we'll go ahead and let that mix in. Okay, so now it says to put the electrode into the 4.0 pH standard solution. It looks like we're going to actually go ahead and turn this on. Okay, so the next step is to actually hold the calculate button for three seconds. And then you'll see the calculate there at the top. See how it says 4.0 flashing? It's gonna flash a few times, just like it says here on the instructions. And now it is calibrated to 4.0. Okay, we have some fresh water. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the 9.18. Go ahead and tear that off and pour it into the water. So now that this is mixed in, we can do the next mode of calibration. I'm gonna hold down mode one more time. This is for the 9.18, as you'll see flashing on the screen, it's calibrating for 9.18. And now when it's done flashing, you know that it's done calibrating. So we're at a 9.25, so there's a slight variance, um, but it's very, 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 very close to 9.18. So that means that it has successfully calibrated there. There's only one more that we need to do. So we're gonna need some more water and we're gonna do the 6.86 or the last pH calibration. Our fresh water, once again, here is the last one that we're doing, the 6.86. We're just gonna follow that same process once again. Love the step-by-step -step instructions here. And obviously if you're calculating for TDS, EC, pH, salt, or temperature, you obviously um, we'll need to calculate for some of those. It comes built in calculated for, for temperature. But let's go ahead and put in the 6.86 buffer powder solution for our last calibration. So I will go ahead and pour this in. This is the home stretch, guys. It's the last one. We're going to let this dissolve into the water. And when it's ready to go, we're going to go ahead and calibrate for the 6.86. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our final calculation here. We're gonna hold down on mode for three seconds. And it's gonna calculate, it's gonna flash and say 6.86. So that is our calibration right now, which is exactly what we want. And then once it's done flashing, you know that it's complete. So we're at 6.83. So now that this meter has been calibrated, we are going to actually show you a few ways that you might want to use this. So this is just normal tap water. You might have some tap water that you want to test. And first you might want to uh, know the temperature and also maybe the pH. So our water here runs, um, you know, pretty high. Uh, eight to nine is pretty standard for our tap water. And so um, you can see that. And then of course you're going to flip through the different modes to see different things here. So our tap water is also pretty hard. So as you can see, the PPM is 227. Uh, no, this one's the salinity here. So you can view the salinity of the water with this being tap water, of course, there's not really anything in it. And then we're back around to pH. So uh, it also can measure the EC. So there's the EC. And um, now we're going to go test the fish tank. So we will need to know the pH of our fish tank water and also the salinity and everything else. So we're just going to simply rinse this off and wash it really good in the sink. And then we're going to go use it on the fish tank. And if you want to change the temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit, you can hold the middle button there that says hold temp and it will switch from Celsius over to Fahrenheit. So with a fish tank, it's really important to have a good pH for your fish. You also just need to be able to check your water and see what that pH is at. So right now we're at 9.1, which probably is an indication that it's just a bit too high for these fish. So also, you know, if we wanted to know exactly how hard the water is, that's important to know as well. We can test and see how hard that water is. Well, 161 is not too bad at all. 
So otherwise guys, you might wanna use this for example, if you're growing a garden, like if you have a hydroponic garden and you're trying to grow some lettuce or fruits and vegetables, it's just gonna be really handy to have on hand. Um, and this is going to help get you through most of the things that you need to measure. Just make sure that you clean it really well. Um, whenever you're done with it, just make sure that you're cleaning the tip really well and storing it dry and with the cap on and it will stay accurate.